going on everybody another episode of 4x4 camping and adventures and in today's episode I'm going to give you a bit of a brief walk around of what's happened to the car I've done some mods to it since you saw the last video can't can't really help myself I'm always doing stuff to this car but um, they're for the better and I'm going to talk a little bit about that big bad thing on the side there that big massive 180 degrees warning and give you a few inspiration ideas potentially because uh, when you're watching this we might be in a full lockdown so um, hopefully this gives you a few ideas of mods you can do to your car while you're in lockdown so you can enjoy them on your next camping trip so good excuse right so without further ado let's get into it so first things first let's talk about this big thing on the side here it is my brand new super peg awning 180 degrees and uh, the reason I went with this is I uh, spent two years with the Ridge Rider I was doing a bit of R&D for Super Cheap Auto at the time and um, my agreement with them was to stick it on there for 12 months to two years to uh, test it out and I fulfilled that agreement with them so I changed my awning and I've gone with something that I got myself. So I went and got this from Super Peg and uh, the idea behind it was to test out um, Australian companies. So they're actually based in Queensland and um, they make pretty damn good gear. So I've only had it out on one or two trips but uh, so far so good it's been an awesome awning and the quality is up there as well really good canvas and um, the pole system and that kind of thing is really really good as well um, all really heavy duty gear and i'm not going to go into a full review of this until i've had it on the car for like six to 12 months so i can give you a real in-depth review um, on my next camping trip with alex from the tents off road uh, which has been postponed so we're going to be doing this a little bit later but i'll get a little bit of an insight on how it all works and that kind of thing because i have it all set up for my camp and that kind of thing in that video so have a wait for that but yeah new uh, super peg awning 180 degrees and i suppose the biggest thing that i love about it is this bag um the bag is oversized so it's really easy to pack up there yeah, it's definitely something that i liked better than the ridge rider which had a really tight bag same with my king's awning had a really tight bag as well so you sort of had to like put it in there in a certain way otherwise it wouldn't really sit properly with this it's really oversized it's really really flexible putting stuff in there. I actually put my light awning light and that kind of stuff in there as well and you can actually fit the pegs in there as well. So a lot of uh, extra space up there you can use for things but um, but yeah that's uh, one what I've done since uh, my last video which is the 180 degrees awning from Super Peg. So in actually more time than ever support your local companies. Queensland based company um, really really good customer service and um, they looked after me really well so um as always support local australian companies that's what i'm all about and uh put your money back in australia but let's get on to what's happened in the back and then potentially what's happened underneath and then what's going to happen underneath uh, in a couple of months so let's get there all right so if you've uh, been watching my instagram or been watching the videos you probably noticed i got this big osru tub rack the reason i did that is um i didn't like the canopy and i wanted to have um a bit of a more open system where I can actually mount things onto the canopy and that was fiberglass really hard to mount things on I had to put the tray on top and it wasn't it was good for what it you know I needed it for but um, it wasn't sort of my like best solution like my last best solution that I wanted to do so um, I got this Osru tub rack as that's not new but I wanted to sort of tell people about why I bought it and as I said that was the main reason so I can mount lights all that kind of stuff solar panel onto the roof so there was a few ideas that I had in mind that I the reason I got this so moving from that um, you probably notice these are different so I got these um, jerry can holders um, now there was a few things to get this to work these are actually from Bunnings uh, I feel like saying they're 30 bucks each and they carry a 20 litre jerry can so now I've got 40 litres of fresh water on me at all times which is great because I've got the instant shower in the drawers and I can have a shower on the go. As you would know, I've got the kick-ass um, shower awning on this side as well. So out and about, I've got either shower water and then I've got this jerry can for cooking, cleaning, washing hands, all that kind of stuff. So 40 litres for one person, absolutely oodles of water, but um, doesn't actually take up any space in my tray. And if you get the camera down the side, these don't actually, they're actually sitting closer than the flares. So um, a few people on my Instagram said, hey, look, it's probably gonna be a width issue. And I said, no, 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 they don't come out any wider than my flares. And that's why I did it is, um, I could have gone with, uh, I think it was Row Packs, I think the brand was, which is like a full um, mounting system. And they've got uh, different styles of like uh, uh, water tanks and that kind of stuff that you can put on them. And I didn't want to go that way. One, the price, um, 
it was about 600, 700 bucks for the full system that I wanted. And I just couldn't justify that for just water. Um, I'll just get two 20 litre jerry cans and put them on the roof rack, but I didn't want the wind resistance. So I went with this, it worked really well. It's just got three bolts that hold onto the, um, the rack. And if you've actually got one of these racks and you've got these mounted at the, um, not the top holes, but the second from the top holes, uh, these will actually fit perfectly. You just need to drill one hole and you've got the whole system mounted up. So that's something new. Um, if you've seen on the back here, um, I'm testing out a bit of a prototype for uh, Jimmy from Grab Me Gear. Um, this is actually, we're gonna go through this in the video of uh, Jimmy's video that I released a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, um, it was a stinking hot day and all the audio completely stuffed up. So, had to do it again. Couldn't really make up a time when we could catch up with each other again, it just didn't work. So I'm gonna go through it now. So, this guy here, as you would know, it mounts onto the back of my car. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change the camera angle. Give me two seconds. All right, better angle. This guy here is my new rubbish bag. Um, I always carry just your normal rubbish bag in the back of the ute, in the drawers. But this is obviously definitely a better system. So, I haven't actually seen one for a ute before and that doesn't mean they're not out there, there might be someone making it. Um, but I've got a few things in here, it's got, you know, main stuff, the beers, um, and all that kind of stuff. So I've been using it so far and it's been pretty awesome, but all canvas made, um, really high quality stuff. This is a prototype, so this isn't the end product and that kind of thing. You've got these straps on the side here to, to tighten it up and to adjust it. You've also got this zip on the bottom here, which you can just release open. And if you want to take it off the car and drop it in the bin, you can release it open and it drops it all out. You've got this front pocket on the, uh, oops, sorry, you got this front pocket on the front here. You can put a full size snatch strap, I've been told, in there. And uh, D shackles, that kind of stuff. You can put your gloves on the side here because you have another little pocket or whatever you want in there, I suppose. And it's got another little pocket on this side as well, which you can put some other stuff in there. So pretty versatile product and Australian made, made in Perth, um, obviously from Jimmy from Grab Me Gear, awesome bloke. Um, so yeah, I'm testing that out for him, giving me a bit of feedback on how it goes. And what we've sort of done is come up with a temporary idea, a bit of solution. This is obviously gonna rub on your back tailgate. So Jimmy is a little bit concerned about it scratching your back tailgate. So what I've done or what we've done as he sewed this onto uh, just a piece of carpet for now, and that's sort of sitting on there. So it is a prototype, so don't look into it too much. There'll be a better design, obviously, once the real thing comes out. But what happens, this is what I love about it, is uh, you can actually adjust it. So when you're um, camping and that kind of thing, you can drop this down and uh, use it as like a little uh, bin. So I could do all my cooking, that kind of stuff on the tray. So if you actually drop these down, you can actually get it to sit. Um, straight down and you have a full-blown um, bin there. So um, that's pretty cool. So the other cool thing that I've got going on the back is uh, in this drawer. So we we're going to talk about this as I said in the video with Jimmy. Um, I've got it myself a new kettle um, which is pretty cool. I got that from Jimmy and I also got this bag from Jimmy which is holding all my stuff. So this is all my recovery bits and bobs that sit around the back of my car. Got me Saber shop, Soft Shackle, gloves. Um, I've got me um, SUV step and all that kind of stuff. Shackles for me uh, gas bottle and uh, me Super Peg Peg, electrical tape, got torches, all that kind of stuff. All your bits and bobs that roll around in the back of the car. Um, obviously when I uh, decided to buy this from Jimmy, yeah, we went with the one that fits in the Titan drawers. And this one is a GearMate 14, if you're wondering at home. Um, this, that's the one that fits into Titan drawers. And what I do is just tuck these little bits under here and nothing gets caught up. And the other thing I talk about, which you can probably see from the logo there, Airbag Man. Um, so what I've done with Airbag Man, I now have a seven litre onboard air tank. Um, my airbags have, uh, I can adjust the actual um, airbag height inside the uh, car now with the switches. And uh, I can also, which is why I pulled this out, inflate, deflate my tires on the go. Because obviously it's got a compressor in the back of the car now. So um, I installed that myself not that long ago. And I've just been testing that out. It's been pretty awesome so far. Um, if you've already got the airbags, it's a great little kit to add to it. Um, because the outlet's just here. So I hope you can see that in the video, but the outlet's just there, and that cord goes all the way around the car. If you've got a camper trailer, you can go straight to the camper trailer, that kind of stuff. Nice and easy. 
Um, and the other last thing you probably have noticed is these lights here. So I've got little switches on the back here which do all my lights. So the reason I put all the lights there is this one here shines onto me, uh, my workbench or where I do my cooking. And I've got one in the tray there because that gets really dark in the middle of the night so you can't really see much. I've got another one here just shining over there and I've got another one here which I can uh, use for my side table or that kind of stuff. And it started to rain. All right, well we may as well hop into the car now because the next section's inside the car. All right, kind of happy that I've jumped in the car because a massive thunder strike um, just went into the sky, which is pretty loud. So hopefully it'll get struck by lightning. Now, first thing I've done is um, I've changed the gear stick, um, mainly because the uh, low range gear stick was um, getting all worn out and um, I just needed a replacement or something. So I got the uh, We Are Likewise gear um, stick from We Are Likewise and um, it's pretty high quality stuff. I really like this. It's actually more for like drift cars and that kind of thing, but I like the shape of it. It's got good grip. Um, down the bottom here, got my airbags, which are uh, pretty cool. And I've also got a wireless airbag monitor, which isn't plugged in, but there's one that goes into the, um, into the uh, cigarette uh, socket here. I've got my grab me gear bag up the top here, which uh, houses all my stuff so the old stuff doesn't rattle around inside the car. And uh, that's about it in here. So I've still got the original UHF radio. Um, still got my uh, gauges. I've just replaced one of my gauges with the Boost and um, EGT gauge. And that's about it in here. So pretty standard stuff, but um, very neat and functional. Oh, you probably see I've changed my EDS um, to down here, which makes it a little bit easier to um, keep out of the sun because those things hate sun. And when they get hot, they turn off, which is a pain in the ass, but this is one of those things. And I've also got one of these, which is a um, little magnet that you can put your um, UHF holder onto, which I think is pretty nifty. And that is about it in here. So nothing's really changed inside, except for a new gear knob and a few other bits and bobs. But, um, you know, business as usual in the uh, office. All right, guys, that's pretty much all the little bit of bits and bobs, mods that I've done to the car since the last video. Um, little bits and done, little bits done to it, but um, it's always evolving, it's always changing. Uh, there's a few other things that I've got to do to it, like the, uh, the back there. Um, between the sides and the roof where the solar panel is, just to stop some of the water getting in there. I'm going to get um, some uh, canvas made up from a local bloke here in Bunbury, and uh, he's going to make me up a bit of a canvas side cover that I can open up and that kind of thing if I need to. Um, we should go behind the actual uh, water cans and that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. And uh, underneath the suspension is getting an overhaul as well. I'm going to a brand new suspension setup um, done by PPD, sorry, PPD Performance in Perth. And uh, yeah, those boys are going to do a uh, full suspension setup for me. So that's going to come up in the future as well. After all this COVID-19 thing settled us down a bit. And um, I can get the car to Perth. So uh, I might leave it there. If I don't see you in the next video, I might see you out the tracks and trails. If I don't see you out the tracks and trails, I'll see you later. Bye.